everyone and welcome to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. I'm Katie if you're new here and today I have my weekly grocery haul. I'm switching things up a bit and I went to Aldi instead of Lidl which I don't normally do and um, I actually spent more and I think maybe even got a little bit less than what I do at Lidl. So that was disappointing but I also didn't want to go the extra distance just to go to Lidl today. I just wasn't feeling it. So anyway, I have Aldi and I will show you my Walmart pickup as well. Um, I will try my best and give you the prices I have and just bear with me. It might take me a minute because I got to look at my receipt and the actual product too. So it might take just an extra minute, but I will do what I can. So let's get into it. We got some bacon. I don't know that I've ever had Aldi bacon. If I have, it's been a long time ago. And that was $3.49 each. The eggs back here were $0.88 cents each. I got two of those. These baby cakes, which look like the little, like, um, Orida, what are those? I don't know what they're, what they're called. Crispy crowns, maybe, which are delicious, by the way. Those were $1.99, and I got two of those. This pork sausage I got for $1.89. I'm going to be all over the place. So sorry again. These raisins were $2.89. I have been making granola bars with those. We got some cracker cuts over here, and that was $3.49. These I don't know, is it chai or chia? I don't know. Chai seeds, maybe? Those were $3.29. The tomatoes here were $1.99. I'll be making salsa or pico with that. I got a chopped salad kit for $2.99. Or, sorry, $2.89, which is a lot cheaper than Walmart. At Walmart, they're three something. So I, I got this one here. And then, let's see here, mini peppers. We got mini peppers for $2.79. Callie saw the minions and just had to have these, so we will be making these after nap time this afternoon. And that cookie dough was $2.49. She also has been asking for strawberries, and these actually looked decent. They do look like they probably need to be eaten fairly quickly, but with our family, they... They probably won't last that long. Oh, wow. Those were $0.49 cents each. Holy cow. I didn't know that. If I knew that, I might have bought more and froze them. But anyway, $0.49 cents for that. That's not what their sign said, but I am pleasantly surprised. The onions are $1.79. Sour cream is $0.89. Cents. I got two flatbreads. Uh, an original and an Italian herb. I thought those would be good. Hopefully, I I think they're like one point each if you're um for Weight Watchers. But I don't know if this is something my brother could have. He's doing low carb. I would think. Let's see. What they were two sixty five. Um. Let's see if it says the carb count on here. Oh, twenty two grams. But I think you have to, what, subtract the fiber or something? I don't know. He'll be able to figure it out. He nor We normally get the wellness wraps, but I didn't go to Sam's this time. So, got those to try instead. Moving on to cheeses. I really like their packaging for cheese. I don't know why. But I just think that is so sharp and neat. And I don't know. I really, really like their packaging. So, I'll, I'm giving them props for that. Let's see, $1.79 for the Swiss and for the cheddar. We got a big old thing of hash brown patties for $3.29. My, I air fry these up each morning, two of them, and my husband takes them to work every morning for breakfast. Let's see, I got some paper plates for $2.99. I needed some flour, I was running low, and that was $1.15. Diced tomatoes with green chilies, uh, 45 cents each. I got two of those, and the refried beans were 75 cents. Uh, 
So semi-sweet minis. Let's see, chocolate chips. These mini chocolate chips, are, those have been what I've been putting in my granola bars, and they were $1.69. I thought this was neat. It's like pre-sliced deli meat. I've never gotten this from Aldi. I Honestly, I don't shop at Aldi that much. But right there says it was $2.99. Marshmallows were $0.89. Cents, and we got some fiber bars, the lemon kind, for $1.59, making my total $64, which is, I don't know, it seems like a little bit higher than what I normally would spend at Lidl, and it might just be because of taxes, I don't really know. I didn't notice that big of a difference, like, between the prices of individual items, but that's okay. You know, I, I really didn't want to go all the way to Lidl today since I wasn't headed that way. But there is always next week. So anyway, switching things up, going to Aldi, and I will show you my Walmart. Okay, so here is what I got from Walmart. I spent $90, and after looking what little is on my table, $90 goes by really, really fast. And I would say... The biggest purchase is obviously the pull-ups, but still, I don't feel like I got a lot for that, but prices are going up for sure, so we are probably going to have to adjust some things and look into, look into what we can do during this time. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you what we got. I got some hash browns. These are like the diced potatoes instead of the shredded this time. I got those. These Rhodes dinner rolls, I like to keep them in my freezer as often as I can. You can just take like one or two out, let them thaw, and then cook them. They are so good. I've also made um, like breadsticks out of these, and you could do like personal pizzas, anything. that They would be, they're, they're good to have in your freezer, especially since you can pull out one or two or whatever you want at a time. I got a frozen pizza. We'll either do this for lunch on Saturday or Sunday or have it for dinner one night. I don't know that we've ever tried the tombstone pizza, so I thought I would give that a try. Some turkey sausage for um, my dog. I make her breakfast and her dinner. She's a little bit spoiled, but... You know, we try to take as good care of her, so she'll be around for a long, long time. So anyway, I got that for her, for when I make her breakfasts. I got some gnocchi. In fact, I would have only got one if I knew how big these packages were. <laughs> but that's okay to have them in our pantry. I think they'll stay for a while. I tried, we tried gnocchi a couple of weeks ago. We actually liked it a lot. I can't even remember how I made it, to be honest. But I saw a different recipe that looked delicious, so I thought we would try that this coming up week. Some street tacos. These little tortillas are so good. They're so small, so they're perfect for, like, toddler sizes. My husband also really likes them when I make, like, barbecue beef or whatever. He makes little tacos with that. Or barbecue chicken, sorry. He likes that. Some au jus gravy. I always use this when I make my, um... When I make French dips or when I make just regular pot roast, I always try to have at least one packet on hand at all times. And I don't think I had any in my pantry. Some mashed potato flakes. Um, I don't always use these, but they are good to have in your pantry when you're in a pinch. Sometimes I just don't feel like peeling and mashing regular potatoes. But I, I got these to have on hand. Uh, Callie was out of chicken nuggets, and she likes the dinosaur kind. She's big into dinosaurs, so that's just fun for her, so I got those for her. Brian's friend gave Callie some Sunny D a couple of weeks ago, and she loves it, so I decided to go ahead and get it. It's nice because these big bottles will last her, like, over a day, because we only give her a little bit at a time mixed with water. So those bottles will last quite a while. We got some apple juice and some milk. I got her some fruit snacks. Brian some cheese crackers. 
I saw this chopped salad. It's a tangerine crunch. I've never had it. It looked good, so I got that. Pizza sauce. I got some flatbread at Aldi, which you saw. So I went ahead and ordered some pizza sauce to make flatbread pizzas for my lunches or something. A new spice. <laughs> if you've been watching the past couple grocery hauls, you see that I get spices quite a uh, quite a bit, and this sounded so good. Sweet and smoky, so I think that'd be good on chicken. I think I'm going to try and cook some chicken up with that and put it on the salad soon. Some Dawn dish soap. I got two of these. This was actually a substitute. It's opening. Um, uh, I just ordered the regular kind. They only had the kind with aloe, so that's, you know, fine with me. I already put one in my car, and this one's for Brian's car. I got Callie some pull-ups. Oh, yeah? Are you drinking Mommy's drink? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Callie came in, and I have my soda on the counter, and I'm not sure if she drank some or not, so let's hope not. Anyway, pull-ups for her. Again, I'm sorry for that. Pause. I needed some quart bags, quart freezer bags, or I normally just get regular. It doesn't matter to me, but quart size and sandwich bags. Something I haven't gotten in a long time is dry shampoo, and I don't mind the Not Your Mother's brand. I've been on the hunt for, like, the best one I can find. I've tried Batiste, Tresemme, Dove. I've Not Your Mother's. I've tried a lot of them, and I'm just not completely satisfied with any of them yet, but I thought I'd try this one. Oh, I didn't realize it had a scent. Orange mango. Let's hope that's okay. Ugh. Anyway, I'll use it. This carved turkey breast. This is like five something a package. So it's a little expensive, but it's really good. My brother got this one time and I put it on some like toasted up bread with barbecue sauce and it's really, really good. So I got that. Some panko I'm going to be making. Probably fried pickles or something in the coming up weeks. So be looking out for that video. It will be in my air fryer recipe playlist when it comes out. And the last thing I picked up were these cheese it Grooves. My brother got us all hooked on these. They are so good. Callie loves them. She'll come out and say cracker, cracker. And I know exactly what she means. So I went ahead and got these for the family. And that is what we got at Walmart. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Also, if you are new to Walmart Pickup and have not yet tried it, check out my link down below so you can save $10 off your first order. And then I will receive $10 with your sign up and purchase. So there's that. I also have some apps that you could download to save some money if you are into like gas buddy and stuff like that save some money on some gas and also scanning your receipts so be sure to check out that description box thank you so much again and until next time bye friends <laughs> can you say bye <laughs>